Well, now that everybody's jaws have finished dropping from the <laughs> self-indulgence of episode 308, let's go to 309 of Fine <clears throat> Music and Fred. I, uh, looking at two box sets that I really enjoy, uh, one can, is called Gathered from Coincidence. It's a three CD set put together by Grapefruit Cherry Red Records. It's the British years of 1965-66, a British folk pop. And it has uh, a lot of famous names that had some hit records in the States and a lot of obscure people who were just cult favorites and uh, has man for man doing Dylan's If You Gotta Go. The Hollies are represented with an early cut, Chad and Jeremy. Justin Hay were doing a folk rock song in his early career. The Pretty Things are on here, The Seekers, John Mark of Mark Allman, an early cut, and even Pop singer Adam Faith is on this uh, set doing Bob Lynn, Cheryl's Going Home. There's other uh, protest and folk rock numbers that were influenced by Dylan and the birds, Search of Sound. There's obscure groups called the Poets, the Beat Men, the Night Shifts. There's a uh, Twinkle and Sarah Jane. Some of them are dabbling in this just to get in on the folk rock scene, but the set is definitely engaging over 80 cuts, close to 80 cuts, and they're great lyrical. And uh, another group that's on here that I loved a lot was the Silky with their version of the Beatles, You Got to Hide Your Love Away which was a minor hit in the States. And I would recommend this if you like folk rock music and like to go into the history of things. It's a great three CD set. One uh, other set, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a review of American pop, power pop. Well, there's another box set from Grapefruit called called Miles Out to Sea, Roots of British Power Pop, 1969 to 75. And uh, a couple of these groups could fall into the bubblegum genre and, or the glam. They were, the first cut is by Slade and, and that's Miles Out to Sea, uh, which they get the title from. Uh, like the American version, most of these groups are influenced by the Mercy or Liverpool sound of 64. And any of these songs could have fit in that period, 64 to 66. There's a lot of well-known groups in here, or if you followed British rock during the 70s and, and really dug deep to find out about some of these people, like Ducks Deluxe, Pilot, Barclay, James Harvest, uh, Starry Eyed and Laughing, who I got to actually see perform in London uh, in a pub. Brimsley Schwartz, Dave Edmonds is on here. Neil Harris. There's a lot of uh, well-known things and also demos and unreleased singles. Steel is Wheel is on this. Uh, Ian Matthews, The Move. Sweet is represented. Jerry Rafferty has the solo cut. And uh, there's other groups that I've never heard of, even uh, even when I used to read the new Musical Express for about a year or two. Uh, Shape of the Rain, Honey Bus, Rare Holly, Paint Box, Small Wonder, 
And two groups who use the Liverpool connection, Liverpool Express and Liverpool Echo, like the American version, there's going to be some cuts you may not like, or you're wondering why they're on here. But for the most part, the three CD set is engaging for anyone that wants a document of British pop rock. Uh, supposedly, in an interview, it was Peter Townsend that came up with the term power pop, hmm. for what I found on the internet. And um, so it's a genre that I followed through the 70s. Uh, but these groups, most of these people never made it because it was sincere singer-songwriter period, Prague mm -hmm. was heavy, or California, Southern California rock, mm -hmm. or Southern rock uh, dominated the charts and, and power pop sounding three-minute songs just didn't cut the top 25. And radio didn't even play them. Even uh, underground radio ignored these groups. But this is a great document. Many of the groups, like I said, are under the radar, but and never got known even in Britain, no less in the United States. So, and some of these groups moved on into the glam rock scene. So I would say of all the cuts, 90% of them are wonderful to listen to. And it's a clear cut vision, a uh, version of British rock. And I, I highly recommend it if you like British rock. Cool. Question. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Slade, Dex Deluxe, Dave Edmonds in the move. Which songs are on there from those? Which bands? Slade? Which Slade, Ducks Deluxe, and Dave Edmonds? Oh, and um, I don't have that list in front of me right now. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know, like most of those Make groups, something I, up then. I had those albums by Ducks Deluxe and and early Slade and be, before they became a big glam band. Yeah, I was surprised uh, when you said Slade. That's I, funny. I used to manage record stores, and I play that stuff all the time, trying to turn people on to it. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question. If you ordered a bunch of records from Grapefruit Records, because I get their ads on Facebook all the time, and they look like pretty interesting collections. Well, I, I would say, you know, like any three CD set of a, a, of a compilation, there's going to be some cuts you don't like. I mean, well, on, yeah. on this British one, there's a few cuts on there that, that I would just call bubble gum. Okay. I wouldn't even call it power pop. And, and there's a few cuts where the lead singers of three different bands, they almost sound the same in, in their <laughs> vocals. <laughs> it, it's, uh, but for the most part, I enjoy it because I like that power pop sound. Uh, the American version that they put out um, is is much stronger, I feel, in, okay. in sound and quality of, of every cut. I'm, I'm just wondering if you had experience with any of their other albums. Uh, no, but I'm thinking of getting into them. They're actually carried on Spotify it, uh, if you don't okay. have a subscription, they only play about two two of the CDs worth. They don't play all three CDs, but um, I'm going to get into this. I, I heard parts of the psychedelic era, which was pretty okay. good. I pulled yeah, up the song album. list. Go ahead. It sounded interesting. Yeah, yeah. I pulled up the song list. It is interesting. Uh, the Every one Sports of those is... come with detailed books about the group and the cut. Oh, good. And they usually, they don't always pick the hit cut or the famous cut. They pick a cut that's sometimes even better for what the group is or artist is not named for. I've got the, uh, the song list in front of me right now. And the Brinsley Schwartz is interesting. It's 
what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? And I know that Nick Lowe was in Brinsley Schwartz. Yeah. Okay. Well, he wrote that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and the sweet peppermint twist. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's an early cool. one. Early sweet. That's pretty cool. Let's see what wow. else we got. Slade is miles out to sea, like you said. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A couple of other ones. The move, Chinatown. Hmm. Oh, nice tune. Nice tune. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a one that caught my eye and I just lost it here. Uh, did, 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 did. Small wonder. I saw that band one time. That was weird. Uh, looks like the Who is in here? Budgie. Holy cow. Budgie. <laughs> Whoa. I had a Bungie wow. album or two. Do you have Squawk? Yeah. <laughs> There's an early fine music episode about Budgie. Really? Uh, nice. Yeah. I uh Starry Eyed and Laughing were really influenced by the birds. They had a 12 string Rickenbacker uh sound and, and they had harmonies. They just I don't think they ever made it really even in England and, and but they put out two two or three albums, two albums, and one got released in the States and the other I got as an import. Well, if I can be self-indulgent, uh, which cut is the cut by Steeler's Wheel and which one by Jerry Rafferty? Steeler's Wheel is uh, Go As You Please, written by Rafferty and yeah. Egan. And the other one, which one is Jerry Rafferty? It's Where I Belong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Early choices. Okay. Oh, here you go. Dave Edmonds. I really like his uh, Crawling From the Wreckage and Get Out of Denver. Um, yeah. When will I be loved by the Everly Brothers? Mm. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Tremolos, I remember that that band. All right, gang. So remember, go to get these box sets from who and who? R Cherry Red Records. Cherry Red and Grapefruit, right? Yeah. Hmm. I detect a pattern. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's almost time for lunch. All right, let's, let's finish off uh, 309. It was delicious. <laughs>